Man, one thing I don't take lightly or think is funny is single motherhood. You know, I post a lot of videos and repost a lot of clips on my channel, addressing it, trying to give some wisdom, but today I'm gonna give you some further enlightenment. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, stick around to the end. I'm going to play a clip. And this lady is going to talk about how single motherhood is a choice. She's going to say in 2024, you choose to be a single mother. And the leading cause of single motherhood is fornication you know missing the mark of what the most high Yah intended for a woman when he said i will have that the younger women marry bear children second order of business god the house third order of business to give the adversary no reason to speak reproachfully you know be married first man i am anti you know some people say oh man you know you can casually date and do all this but i'm anti that man because you got to think, man, these kids, single motherhood is taking off at such a rampant pace to where these kids are not growing up uh, with balance. These kids are growing up overly emotional, where in a two-parent household, a child will learn to balance his emotions with logic. You know, for a girl or a boy, they will learn balance. You know, the most high y'all intended for these kids to have or these children, excuse me, kids is a goat turn, you know, uh, these children to have both parents. But when you think about fornication, sexual immorality, you know, ultimately the lust of the flesh, this is what this is stemming from. And, and here's the thing, man, I do plenty of videos saying, men, leave these women alone. If these women don't have common sense, don't have righteous wisdom, they're not modest and meek, and you are not white, leave them alone. Leave them alone. You know, it, it's one thing for you to leave them alone and to reject them because you don't want to be caught in sin, but it's another thing to be laying down and be on the other side of single motherhood and you're the father. Women, if you want your best chance at life, and you see all these videos of these single moms struggling. If you want your best chance at life and fulfilling the will of Yah, you're gonna have to deny your flesh. You know, them nights when you're lonely and you wanna get your back blown out and you want somebody to make you feel it all in your, in your chest and get your heartburn, you gonna have to leave all that alone. I mean, we are in the last days and no matter what, I'm telling you, a lot of you women, you think you're on birth control, and guess what? That seed is gonna come forth. That seed is gonna come forth to teach you a painful lesson, no matter how much you disguise it as a blessing. This man who you thought you was just gonna pump and dump and be good with, no. Now you're gonna have to deal with this joker for 18 years or longer. It's gonna be painful. Man, I hate seeing some of the daughters of Zion not choose the way of Yah and suffer in their own choices. They're suffering, trying to feed these kids and you would, I got videos on the channel with these men. There was a man on here had seven baby mamas and he told these women he wasn't no good and they still wanted him. It's painful, man. So I, I'll, I'll let this lady cook and, and roll this beautiful bean footage. It is 2024. It is a choice to continue to become baby mothers. All right, kind of want to get into a topic today. Um, a little bit of background about myself. I am 27 years old. I have a five-year-old daughter who's going to be six in a couple of weeks. And I am also a little child, second child. Um, I'm having a boy. Basically, I came on here to kind of talk about my journey right now as a single pregnant mother. And I know everybody looking at me like I'm crazy now. Like, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know who you had a baby by and this, that, and the third and blah, 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 blah. Like, okay, whatever. I'm not really the type of person to go do what I do, be grown or whatever you want to call it. And then when I get pregnant, 
you know, like the A word, get rid of it. I'm not that type of person. Um, I know what I did, and I'm definitely just not comfortable with getting rid of my baby. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against people who, you know, are able to do that. Like, your body, your, you know, you do what you do for your body. Like, that's just you. I'm just not the type of person. Um, and of course you don't think that, like, oh, you get pregnant with your, when you're with your boyfriend, you think that, you, you want to be together, you know, you want things to work out. And when they don't, it's not like, you get rid of it, like, or something. I don't know, can't really explain it, but, yeah. I'm not getting rid of my baby. I wasn't gonna get rid of my baby because I thought, you know, hey, we're gonna be together, we're gonna make this work. Unfortunately, it didn't. Cool. I would honestly say that this is not what I wanted. Like, I wanted to be married or engaged when I had my second child because the first one didn't work either. Yes, I have two baby daddies. Yes, I'm a statistic. Yes, yes, yes. All your questions, yes. But y'all not gonna get on here and make me feel bad. Like, <laughs> I know what I did. Okay, like, whatever. But I know I'm not the only person that's going through this. So that's why I honestly came on TikTok to talk about it because pregnant and single, is like by far one of the hardest things I've ever encountered. On top of being a mother, on top of working full time, like, oh my God, y'all, this is hard. This is like really hard. And that's why I came out here. Like, most of the event, you know. And then sometimes it'd be a lot of uplifting family, like uplifting people out here. But um, yeah, pregnancy. And then you see, you see everybody like when they're pregnant with their spouse and they're doing all the pictures. Everything looks so cute. And you're just like, oh, like I wish that was me. Like, yeah, that's me right now. Very emotional, very wish that I had a boyfriend, very wish that I was with the person that I had my child with, you know? You wish that, because that's what you want. Like, you want to give your kids a two-parent household. Yes, I wanted all of that. And watching other people go through, I just be like, oh my God, like, y'all so lucky, because being single, it's just like so many emotions, so many things you go through, you just like, by yourself. Like, don't get me wrong, family and everything is very important. Family, friends, yes, love y'all down, love y'all down, 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 like y'all have been my support system. But it's different when you have the male figure that you know that you share the baby with like it's so different it just feels different like at the beginning of my pregnancy i did have him you know we was good we was working through everything cool but just things you know didn't work out so I decided to split up or whatever mutual feelings like we both decided that it was for the best um yeah i do want to say that to my other mommies who has a toddler and who's pregnant and working and just basically trying to make sure everything's okay like mommy guilt is definitely gonna kick your butt <laughs> If it's not already doing so, it's gonna get to you. Don't let it get to you. Like, try your hardest to fight through. I know it's hard to say this, but like, I'm literally experiencing it. Like, you gotta fight. You gotta fight. <laughs> you gotta fight, babe. You got to. Because you, if you stay in your head, like, thinking about all the stuff that you could, could be doing or you feel like you're not doing enough, whatever, whatever, ma'am, you are one strong individual. You're doing this by yourself. Like, you got this. And not trying to take credit from people who do have their spouse. You're a strong individual as well. Trust me, I'm not trying to take away from motherhood. No, y'all, we all some strong women. You got a kid, step, step kid, whatever. You're a strong individual. Um, but my message is really just pinpointing out to single, pregnant women, whatever, even if it's your first, or if you already got a baby, like, this is hard. It's not no game, it's not no joke. Like, we really out here fighting for our lives, and we got this. Stay strong, you know, um, everything happens for a reason. I know y'all don't wanna hear that, but it does. But mommy, we got this. We got this. That concludes my little rant um i'm gonna try to get on here and do a daily journal every day just to check in with my fellow females you know um yeah it's kind of helping me too because like i don't got a lot of people to talk to so i'm coming out here talking to y'all it's kind of like stepping outside of my zone i wouldn't do this normally but i had made a post on facebook and it got so much love y'all like it got so much love so that's why i'm like maybe you know it is somebody else out here that would like to hear my story or i can hear y'all's story like my I, i'll talk to y'all i don't mind answering questions you know what i'm saying um i'm here for y'all that's it we got this y'all bye